Ladies and gentlemen, as we move towards the second preseason game for the Chicago Bulls, we are looking for a much improved performance on the defensive end and on the offensive end. But there were some things that were said in our after game press conference by Billy Donovan and some of our players that are really intriguing and I want to know what you guys think about this personally. Now of course there is a lot to go over but ultimately I want to talk about one specific thing and it's about our center Wendell Carter Jr and his future on the offense. So without further ado let's discuss and let's talk about the Chicago Bulls and also Wendell Carter heading into the second preseason game. Let's do it. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show. Welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls video in relation to some of the things that have been said on the offensive and defensive end from both Coach Donovan and from some of our players tonight. Very interesting things to talk about. And ultimately, some things that might divide a lot of people's opinion depending on what you guys think about the structure of the offense. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on. We are only three subscribers away from the 350 subscriber mark. I really want to try and get to 350 by the end of the year. So if you guys have not subscribed already, I think most of the viewers that I do have are not subscribed. Please go ahead and subscribe and let's see how quickly we can get there. Maybe we can go even beyond that goal. But enough about that. Let's talk about the Chicago Bulls and let's talk about the structure of the offense. Now, Coach Donovan is someone that I put a lot of trust into. And the things that he say, I often think maybe we should give it a chance. Some of the things that he said in the offensive structure, especially towards our center, Wendell Carter, is very, very intriguing. And this is why I want to get your opinions on it. Wendell Carter, in my opinion, is a center that's not necessarily primarily an offensive center. I think he's very versatile, but I don't think he has that much offensive game in the way that a lot of other centers do. Like, he's not a post game like DeMarcus Cousins was against him. He's not that great of a shooter like maybe a Porzingis type player would be. But we're trying to allow him to become a very versatile offensive-minded center. Now, anybody that knows Wendell Carter's performance in the last game knows that he had a terrible game. Four points, seven rebounds, 0 from 5 shooting, only made one shot in the entire game. And that shot was a slam dunk, by the way. So... There's a lot of things to go over with Wendell Carter and how he's going to be used on the offensive end. And this is what I want to know, because Coach Donovan said that he should have had at least 10 threes tonight. He wants Wendell Carter to be taking those shots. He wants Wendell Carter to improve from the three, because then it allows easy cuts for other teammates. It allows for his game to open up even more, and it allows the offense become a little bit more unpredictable. These are the things that Coach Donovan has said. Now, what do you guys think about that? Because this is a very intriguing thing, because I, ex I did not expect Wendell Carter to shoot five threes today. Or last game. And I don't expect him to shoot five threes tomorrow. In tomorrow's game. But what I do expect from Wendell Carter. Is to be very consistent in the, on the defensive end. And not offensive end. And the fact of the matter is. If we're looking for Wendell Carter to take a lot of three-pointers, there could be a chance that maybe the Chicago Bulls are going for an experimental period this season and not really aspiring to go all the way to be the best team available, the best team capable. We're going to go for some experiments to see if the offense is going to work for us. Now, depending on what you guys think on that, that that's up to you. But... One of the things that I have to say, and it, it this depends as well if you want Wendell Carter to shoot threes or not. The whole point of Wendell Carter shooting threes in the preseason is to practice for the regular season. It's to get himself ready for the regular season. So people have had a lot of issues with the way that Wendell Carter was shooting the ball yesterday. Why did he shoot that much? How, how is he going to miss every single three-pointer that he made, even the ones that were wide open? The way that I see it is, how do you get better from the three-point shot? You get better by taking them in games. Training is fine. Training is great. Wendell Carter said himself he thinks he's a great shooter. But in training is not going to be the only way to improve your three-point shot. You need to take them in the games as well. And Wendell Carter took them in the games. And he's only going to get better from here. I mean, he didn't make a shot. So obviously one shot that he does make, he'll get better at. But my issue is that people have a big problem with the way that we played in the first game. We're, pe we're pressing the panic button. A lot of people are negative. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos already um, yesterday that was basically slating the Bulls. And look, honestly, 
we play terrible. So I'm not even going to go to the fact that people are, are not happy because, of course, people are not going to be happy. But in my opinion, if we're going to be targeting Wendell Carter and saying that he shouldn't be th shooting threes, most people last year wanted Wendell Carter to shoot the ball more. Most people wanted Wendell Carter to be in the offense more. Most people wanted Wendell Carter to be an elite offensive player because his defense is capable at this level. So... I'm not worried about Wendell Carter missing threes. I'm not Wendell. I'm not worried about Wendell Carter taking threes. At the end of the day, the best three-point shooters has taken time to practice them in game experiences and in training. So Wendell Carter shooting threes to me, in my opinion, is a big step up for this offense. It gives us more diversity. It gives us more creativity. It allows Larry Markkinen to open up his game. Larry Markkinen had a fantastic scoring game yesterday. And that, I think, is because Wendell Carter was allowed him to go into the paint, allowed Larry Markkinen to take more shots than what he would usually be able to do. I think that this could be a very bright opportunity for Wendell Carter to prove that he is more than just a pick and pop, maybe even just a solid defensive player. Because there is potential with Wendell Carter. And obviously, last game was not the best example of it. He only made one shot out of seven, I believe. So... Obviously, that's not the best, but when Wendell Carter has to face this adversity, and Coach Donovan said it himself, when you face the adversity, it's up to it's up to you. Are you going to be not confident next game because you missed five shots? Are you going to take the same shots over and over again? You need to be confident enough to trust in yourself and back the shots that you take. So Wendell Carter, I want to see Wendell Carter continue to shoot the threes. I want Wendell Carter to continue to improve his offensive game. He clearly has a lot of responsibility on this team in the offensive end. He wants to be a facilitator. He wants to be an elite offensive player. Well, if you're going to have to do that, you're going to need to practice. Take those shots. Miss those shots. You, you learn from from every shot that you don't take so it's it's just one of those things we need to see him take the shots and i'd rather him take a shot that's wide open than miss than not take the shot at all so Wendell carter this is a message in my opinion whether because this video is going to be called is billy donovan right in wanting wendell carter to shoot threes will billy donovan is billy donovan heading in the right direction is wendell carter more capable now all those questions i don't know if wendell carter is going to be a capable three-point shooter i don't know if uh billy donovan is heading in the right direction but i have backed for the most part the front office in everything that they've done if this is something that they want to try especially in a preseason game when the wins and losses mean nothing towards the regular season then i think we should be Giving, giving Wendell Carter the chance. And a lot of people are being negative. A lot of people want him traded after that game. Give the guy a chance and let's see exactly what we can do. This is just my video. I want to know what you guys think. At the end of the day, my opinion does not need to reflect your opinion. Doesn't even need to agree with your opinion. But I truly feel like with Wendell Carter, this is the time. Preseason is the time to get him ready to try and adapt his offensive game. I don't want Wendell Carter to be the same offensive player he was last year taking some mid-range shots, ultimately everything was in the paint. I want to see an expanded Wendell Carter game because any at the end of the day, if all five players on the court can shoot a three, can shoot a mid-range, can space the floor, it's so hard to defend. And you saw it with the Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets were the prime example. Every single player on the Houston Rockets team shot threes and they made so many of them. Wendell Carter it needs to be a center that, in my opinion, is capable at least in doing the catch and shoot, catching the ball and shooting a three. And we have to wait and see how he does that on a regular basis. Now, this is going to be the end of this video. we got a game coming up against the Houston Rockets once again. I expect this game to be closer. They're going to be watching film. They're going to be studying the tape. And we should be able to have a little bit of a de better defensive game. But ultimately, the goal for the Chicago Bulls is to keep working on the things that they're planning to use in the regular season. And to try and compete in this game because last game was no competition for the Houston Rockets. If we're going to be talking about a team that competes on a nightly basis, then it's time to compete. And let's see if we're going to be able to do that. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. I will see you in another Chicago Bulls video. We've got so many coming up. Let's see how we go in the next game. Every game is something that we need to learn from, study from, and that analyze and give our own takes on them. So this is what I'll be doing for the next game as well. Match reaction. The last video did absolutely phenomenal. I did not expect it to do that well, especially for a one game scenario. So I will keep that going because you guys enjoyed them so much. Have a wonderful and safe day. Take care and peace.